Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Listen, we were on the food of uh, the topic of food last time, so I like to, you know, say say a little bit more about food because you know I want to try to help somebody out, maybe if I can with this video. But ma main, mainly, what it's about is that when somebody serves you food or you see food on the table, you're ready to eat it, and you're not sure what it is, if it's like unrecognizable, you're not sure. Please ask somebody. You know, before you indulge in eating, say, yeah, hey, excuse me, please, can you please tell me what's on the dish over there? You know, before I eat, I like to know. Because if you don't, and there's something wrong with it, or it's not supposed to be there, it got there by accident, you know, it's a, just a table setting, and you eat it, it can make you sick, or possibly could, could kill you, you know what I'm saying? So, you don't want to do that. You want to ask, excuse me, what is this? I like to know what it is, because, you know, this could be a problem. So, like I was telling you, my, my wife is a real good cook. I got food, and my, my wife's family, they're good cooks, uh, the men and the women. They, whenever you go to anybody's house, you always got good food, they eat and everything. So I'm going to tell you a story why I'm so concerned about why you should ask what kind of food you're going to eat, all right? If you're not sure what it is, make sure, because this is what happened to me. And again, these are true stories. I don't make this up. I don't got time to make this stuff up. I'm telling you the truth, and here it is. This is this is what's going on. We go to my wife's sister's house one day, right? We walk in, there's some food on the table. So I sit down, I start eating. Uh, everything's tasting good. And I particularly like this one little thing they had out was uh, almost looked like a salmon or a tuna with a little crust around it, you know? If anybody ate like sushi, they know what, you know, that is, the little crust around, you know, the, the fish. So I'm eating it, it tastes good, I'm, I'm almost eating the whole goddamn dish, that's how good it was, you know what I'm saying? So I'm eating it, and uh, I'm just about done, I look at my brother-in-law and say, hey, you know, I appreciate the sushi, you know, the sushi was real good, you know? He looks at me with a kind of funny look, he says, what's sushi? I says, the sushi in the dish that was over there, that I just about ate the whole goddamn tray over there. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty good. I liked it. He says, that wasn't sushi. I says, what? If that wasn't sushi, pal, we got problems. If you're telling me that wasn't sushi, we got we got problems. He says, no, that was chicken. I said, if that was chicken, we really got problems because that, that was not cooked. That, that was more like a fish, like a sushi. That was not chicken. He goes, yeah, I'm telling you, it was chicken. I says, oh, man, now now I'm going to die a chicken, right? I says, you know, I mean, it's not like I fell off a cliff. You know, when they write things up about a guy was a hero, he fell off a cliff, he got shot, he did this, and he's a hero, this and that. I'm going to die a chicken. Chicken freaking is going to kill me now, because if that was chicken, I got a problem. So he says, no, I ate a lot, too. He says, I, 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 I'm I, scared, too. I don't know. So he says to his wife, he says, you know, was that chicken that you made there? Did you cook it? She says, no, nah, that was the chicken you usually get. We heat it up, you know, just heat and serve, put it up. He goes, nah, I wasn't. So he, he goes in the pail over there, whatever. He pulls out the container. He looks at it. He goes, sure enough. He got that look on his face like, like now I know we got problems. We got we got problems here because he's looking at that thing and saying you're supposed to cook it. You're supposed to cook this chicken. You're not supposed to just heat and serve it. So now I says, ah, oh, boy, here we go. I'm definitely dying to chicken now. Whatever that is, a salmonella, botulism, whatever it is, I got it now and I'm dying, right? So I go ahead out in the yard. Now, I don't know if I'm just thinking about it, if it's in my stomach, in my system or what. But I just start throwing up. I got to get this stuff out of my shit. It's coming up. Blah, 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 blah. My wife says, you okay? Have everything all right? I said, nah, I'm all right. I just ate a bunch of freaking, uh, thought it was sushi, but it was was chicken. Now I got problems. Now I'm, I'm going to die. I'm going to die a chicken. When you write the story about me, say, yeah, this guy's a good guy, but he died a chicken. You know what I'm saying? So now my brother-in-law comes out. I says, you okay? You know, how you doing? He goes, nah, I was throwing up too. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel, don't feel good. I said, no, of course you don't feel good. We ate chicken. It's not supposed to eat the uh, good cooked chicken. It's not good for you. You know what I'm saying? So, but that was a few years ago. We're still alive. I made it. He made it. You know, the good Lord looked down on us and said, you know what? You guys ain't dying a chicken. You're going to want to die another day. You ain't dying a chicken. Your number ain't up yet. You know what I'm saying? Your number didn't come. So the whole moral of this story here is that you got to be careful what you eat. If you don't know what it is, if you think it's sushi, it might not be sushi. It might be chicken, okay? So make sure if it's something that you're not sure of, X. Excuse me, please, what is that? I'd like to eat it, but I need to know what it is first because bad things can happen, all right? Well, I got to go. I hope I saved somebody today. I hope you know what you're doing. Keep an eye on your food and enjoy it, all right? Take care. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.